Chantal Wong was born in Shanghai and raised in the Bay Area. Though her degrees were in engineering, she decided that what needed some real fixing was Washington, D.C., and she's been here for close to 30 years. Wong has held many positions in the Clinton, Obama, and Bush administrations, but it wasn't until she retired that she found a new passion, photography, and she hasn't looked back. It became an obsession, uh, and then somehow it became a profession. I actually get paid for doing some of the work, uh, and I was very lucky to join uh, John Lewis um, for four years to be his uh, photographer and videographer, thanks to an organization called the Faith and Politics Institute, where they bring members of Congress to civil rights sites in Alabama. So it's been an incredible experience for me, uh, just because I picked up a camera. <laughs> it's just a very incredible ex uh, opportunity and uh, for me to be so close to this giant of a man. Uh, I would say that he was when he was alive, a uh, living saint, if there was one. Uh, and to, to have that opportunity to not just be next to him, but the people that he surrounded himself with, the civil rights icons, that so we would visit the 16th Street Baptist Church, for example. Uh, we would actually get uh, reenactments of the 16th Street Baptist Church, the four little girls that, that were uh, killed on that Sunday. And then we crossed the bridge with John Lewis. Uh, and I remember uh, we did that this last time, uh, last March. Uh, he was weak. Uh, he was definitely not himself. Uh, he was very sick. Uh, but he got on the bridge and his voice was booming. Uh, he told us what we need to do he gave us that clarion call that we need to vote like we've never voted before. It's very emotional for me uh, to have been there, to be part of history. And I remember that, uh, you know, months later, what he said about voting, I went to Georgia in January, in December, actually. You know, every piece of the elect election was important, but Asian Americans, we were part of the margin of victory uh, in Atlanta, and I also went out to Savannah uh, and other parts of Georgia. Who, after we won, uh, we flipped the two two seats, uh, both Ossoff and uh, Warnock. I went to visit John Lewis in his gravesite uh, in Atlanta, and uh, told him that this one was for him. That he told us we need to do, and we did. I think uh, that, that picking up the camera really gave me the inspiration to see the world in a very different light. I'm still learning, uh, definitely learning about light, lighting <laughs> and what the camera captures. Sometimes it's actually better than the naked eye. After I retired, I actually did a little bit of a stint as a tech startup uh, entrepreneur for a year and a half, but basically after that, I fully retired. Uh, and I started doing a lot of travel. My God, you know, that that is what, with a passport and a camera, <laughs> I'm in my happy place to meet people. I love to talk to people, to engage people, and then take photos of them. So my images, uh, besides the beauty of the places, uh, a lot of it is really engaging uh, the people and, and taking portraitures of of the people that I get to meet. We got there for the sunrise. It was the most serene, beautiful place on earth. Uh, the longest teak bridge in the world. You know, I'm very active in the local community of the photographers uh, in the community. So I'm sitting on the board of a, um, uh, an organization called Focus on the Story. And Focus on the Story is about helping other photographers really be better storytellers. We've uh, published a couple of books. Uh, one of them is the, uh, to document the three days around the uh, Trump inauguration. There was riots and there was intensity and uh, Antifa and the Black Lives Matter. 
uh, we were all capturing a lot of that. And then the next day was the Women's March, where millions came to Washington. Very pleased that my photo <laughs> made the cover of that book. <laughs> so uh, uh, that's one of my proudest moments. Because it, we're here in Washington to shine a light on critical issues, to bridge cultural divide, and using visual imagery, whether it's videos or, or uh, images, to spur social change. And that's what I think photography is, uh, at least for me, that it has to have a purpose, uh, that it changes people's lives.